Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Sunday, June the 2nd, 2019. The tarot card for today is the Queen of Swords, who saw this post and looked up at their calendar and said, oh, tomorrow there's a new moon in Gemini. Do you believe this? I mean, if you've been following me for a while, then you know that the Queen of Swords loves to show up within a day or so usually of the new moon sometimes the full moon but i've lost count of how many new moons it has been this time around i have a better feeling about her okay you know she is an air sign like gemini and tomorrow is our new moon in gemini so i'm kind of thinking that you can use her to your advantage today but let's talk first about her usual characteristics that you don't want to be and that you also don't wish to encounter you know she has a tendency on her negative ways to be cranky to be you know uh, very critical of people and that itchy b word and she can be just so not nice you know almost like the bully but she just without fail seems to be around the new moons however you know you have to remember she does have her positive qualities and i think that they will come in handy for you yesterday we had the eight of pentacles and we talked about really getting down to business trying to get things done i really think that she is a continuation of that and of being able to tackle life in general this queen leaves emotion out of the equation okay so she doesn't get all silly when you have a new moon she exercises her intellect and you know she has her priorities straight so there's that if you could picture if you will like taking that sword and just sh -sh 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 to your path which we'll be talking about tomorrow pay attention when my post comes out with the cards of the week okay so i like this because it's as though she is clearing the way not allowing anything to be in her way you know there's a sense of organization that is associated with her and it's not you know necessarily about how neat things are but that does always help you know i like to declutter once a week at least makes me feel really good about things because i do rather feel that our outer world tends to reflect the inside of the mind so you know if the mind is jumbled the outer world is looking a little bit cluttered so it's always good to just go around take the time to do that maybe Marie Kondo your life a little bit today and be ready because like I said tomorrow's the new moon and I really feel like you know these first two days June 1st and June 2nd they feel more like the prelude to June in other words I kind of think June starts tomorrow with the new moon I don't know why but I've been seeing it in my mind for quite some time okay but there's nothing wrong with that and today shows you getting ready getting prepared getting organized clear and clear in the way because tomorrow you get to maybe choose a direction doesn't mean you're getting to where you're going but the come back tomorrow we're going to talk about being able to choose and you're going to want to make those new moon intentions count because later this month on the 20th mercury will enter shadow it will retrograde in the beginning of july so it will be a while before we get to the other side of that so taking advantage of, of the gemini energy which is around the moon will be entering gemini early today you have the sun there you have mercury there okay so you're in that new moon territory and i can't emphasize enough making good use of this moon okay and the queen she is very much she embodies this energy that is here so i'm telling you take advantage of it because when we get to the full moon who's been paying attention we will be in eclipse season yes so right and there's actually three this year if you look at the calendar it's it's an interesting year for sure so if you find that you are one of those people who is cranky at a new moon don't be all right pull yourself up out of that and do something with your day because this energy that is here that is available to you now is i almost want to say crucial okay because i think if you sit around and wait 
to tackle certain aspects of your life, you're going to be waiting until sometime in August, okay? You want to be on track with everyone else that when the end of this month comes, you are looking toward a new future opening up. So keep that in mind. And I want to remind everyone that I am going to continue until I say no further um, with my Patreon special. If you have not belonged, and that is very key, okay? If you have not belonged during 2018 or 2019, I will refund your June payment. They bill on the first of every month after that. And of course you can cancel at any time. We have a lot to talk about. I will be coming out with at my $10 level later in the month, a mid-year guidance that I do, okay? Which covers the rest of 2019 and whatever else we may see. So I wanna make everyone aware of that. This, this is a month that's been on our radar for a very, very long time. So go get some things done today. Get your life ready to roll. I want to thank you very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.